my name is Mary Foyer. I have a YouTube channel that's called Maximalist Minibus. So, you might be wondering why I'm on a minimalism panel. I'm Mary, my bus is Max, and on this channel we meet people, go places, and do things. Boy, after this week, it feels weird not to be driving. Are you there for like me? Chasing after sunsets, again in the American dream. Eight days, 11 states, 2,798 miles. I'm here. This is the volunteer campsite at the RTR, otherwise known as the lower parking lot at the La Paz County Fair. Beautiful view. It's pretty dusty. All kinds of rigs here, and everything from tents on up. That's pretty mellow, laid back. Seems like a nice place to hang out. I'm not gonna stay here long term. I'm going over to Skadden Wash to the Partier, and I'm gonna camp over there because, you know, that's where all the YouTubers are. And trying to grow my channel, you know, I'm at just under a thousand subscribers, and I want this to work because I really like doing this, so it's probably best if I go camp over there because there might be more opportunities there, you know? But I stayed here last night because the last thing I wanted to do after all that driving was go, you know, stumbling around in scat and wash trying to figure out where I am. It's really dark over there. I've only been there once, so I think I gotta wait till daylight. The other reason I stayed over here is because my presentation is over here and it's at three o'clock today. I'm nervous, yeah. I told you before I'm nervous about showing my body because you know, I do a good job of hiding it when I shoot and I'm sure they're gonna shoot this and then probably post it somewhere, so. Yeah, I'm still nervous about that, but the nervousness has kind of shifted and now I'm more like nervous about the presentation itself, like about what I'm gonna say. Because, okay, minimalism is kind of a hot topic for me. I'm not a minimalist, okay? So that's the thing. I'm not a minimalist, and I'm about to go out there and announce that to a bunch of people who came for a seminar on minimalism. So why am I not a minimalist? I got problems with minimalism all over the place. I got problems with it economically. I have problems with it philosophically, psychologically, spiritually. I got problems with minimalism, and that's why I think I need to make make that its own episode because if I go too far down that road right now then this episode is going to become that episode and this episode already has other stuff going on so yeah I will say one thing though I will say my most personal reason for not identifying as a minimalist I would never identify as a minimalist because minimalism is boring okay Visually, I'm talking only visually and I'm talking the modern definition of minimalism because minimalism was originally describing an art movement and that was not exactly my cup of tea, but it was not boring. You are welcome to live in the shades of gray on white as much as you like, but me, I need color and texture and weirdness. I mean, look at this place. I, ha I, have, I have a picture of a parsnip and a carrot getting married, okay? That's one of my favorite things in this place. I don't think that's on anybody's list of multifunctional necessary items. Well, it's on mine. I think if I went on the space shuttle, I would take my picture of the carrot and the parsnip getting married. So why am I on this panel? What's my contribution? I actually think I have a lot to offer on this topic because as an antique dealer, I got to see a lot about how people form relationships with objects, both positive and negative. I saw people drowning under the weight of somebody else's stuff you know like a collector who's like collecting something that nobody really wants anymore you know she dies and her kids have to figure out how to dispose of the estate you know the estate being basically a house and a garage filled with trash cues nobody wants and that's it's painful i've also been to storage auctions a lot of them where it's really obvious that no one's even opened the door to the unit in years and you know, some guy has crammed it full of stuff he was sure he was going to need someday. And then, you know, you know, it's only $1 for the first month. And then they've been billing him ever since. So he's like thousands of dollars in by the time he actually loses the unit. I mean, these are situations that are sad where stuff has just really taken over. But I've also seen 
how much joy certain objects give to certain people. And I'm not talking about like, you know, an addictive high or the rush of consumerism. I'm talking about genuine joy. I've seen furniture that is so well made, it makes like a bridge between the past and the present. And it's so beautiful, it just makes you want to weep, you know? But I've also let that furniture go. I'll let everything go. You can do it. You can let it go. I think the biggest contribution I can make is just to say, it's okay. It's okay that you're attached, because being attached means you're alive. And it's okay that you love your stuff because how cool would it be if we loved every single thing that touched our lives? Love is good. If you want to have your stuff around you, surround yourself with that beautiful stuff, unless you're struggling with a mental illness over it, it really is just a choice. You want to keep your stuff? You can, you can keep your stuff, but you're probably not going to live in a van. You want to live in a van, you probably can't keep your stuff. Well, not all of it anyway. Keep your parsnips. We are here with Max Smith Minibus YouTube channel. This is her bus. And I'm Eric the Goat Guy, me and White Cares. Yeah, that is Eric the Goat Guy. And he, um, I'm kind of proud that he appointed himself host of my After Party for the Minimalism event. My name is Mary Foyer. I have a YouTube channel that's called Maximalist Minibus. So, you might be wondering why I'm on a minimalism panel. I think it went pretty well, you know, considering that I'm a non-minimalist up there talking to the minimalists. All that worry that I did about my body and yada, yada, yada. Well, first of all, we were sitting behind a table that had like a skirt, so you're not going to see much of my body anyway. I actually don't identify as a minimalist for some really specific reasons that I'll go into a little bit. But I'm not even really going to have to worry about it yet because the only person who has posted any video of it so far is... Eric again. Yeah, and in his live stream, he's so far away that you can just barely even see my head. So I don't have to worry about that one. So I you know at some point you can see there are people in the video up closer that are shooting. So probably those videos will show up eventually and I will have to deal with it then. So that's a bridge I'm just not going to cross right now. I'm just happy that the event that I was able to like put my own crap aside for long enough to deliver some information and a couple of laughs to the people that were sitting in the audience so that felt good you know we want to subscribe to our youtube channel well, you could be in the thousand subscribers eric took it upon himself to um get just about every person that came down there to subscribe he also happened to be live streaming as people were touring the bus which is a really good thing because honestly i was like a deer in the headlights it didn't even occur to me to shoot anything i was just so happy that the presentation was over and that i didn't have to you know talk about minimalism anymore <laughs> yeah so the footage that you're seeing this is all from Eric the goat guy I'm gonna link his channel in the description and also I'll put a link to an article about him from the Detroit Free Press subscribe to my YouTube channel thank oh, you yeah, yeah cool so oh, wow. Eric the goat guy on YouTube I went from 985 about subscribers at the start of the whole thing to I crossed the thousand subscriber mark Right then and there, thanks to Eric. We are here with Max Smith Minibus YouTube channel. This is her bus. And uh, she by the way hit a thousand subscribers. Um, okay, a thousand subscribers. We are here uh, celebrating her thousand, thousand subscribers. Max Smith Minibus right here. Look it up. Thank you, Eric. And thank you for subscribing. Well, the sun's going down and it's getting too dark again to go over to the par TR. So I guess I'll stay here for one more night. I'm okay with that. I'll go over tomorrow after I get out of work. Yeah, I'm working tomorrow because I start volunteering. So that should be interesting. I'll tell you all about it. See you next time.